assalamu alaikum today i will show you how to design a shallow foundation or a spread footing in geo5 software let's see our problem that this is a typical footing here the column load acting on uh, concentrically uh, on the pa uh, uh, column and the footing dimension is 8 feet by 8 feet average SPT value standard penetration test value is 10 and then cohesion value is 60 kilo newton per square meter and we will ignore the water table here the water table below the influence zone so this is our uh, spread footing model and this is a geo5 software we can design and we can obtain the bearing capacity of the foundation by this software here we will use the spread footing spread footing uh, template so we are selecting the metric unit although our problem in is American unit so let's this is our project the task is to obtain bearing capacity of shallow footing in clay soil and we will have a setting a default setting uh, analysis method will select the undrain condition because the clay uh, mm, uh, have not completed the consolidation settlement yet so we will choose the undrain condition and from edit menu material in our country typically we select SCI code we can choose another option here Euro CSN SCI CSA etc so we will select SCI American Concrete Institute code and we will ignore the other cell settlement for settlement uh, we will use Quadrometric modulus. These parameters we can obtain from laboratory or other information correlation. And percent sigma when the stress will decrease up to 10 percent of the uh, of the critical, then uh, we'll ignore it. Spread footing condition analysis for drain not and drain will uh, is a standard approach and uh, rock not yet uh, uh, uplift uh, will do not calculate uplift uh, safety factors ASP will use the safety factor 2.5 for vertical bearing capacity ok and profile will select a profile say it's uh, 2.5 meter profile soil will assign a soil that that soil classify a soil and uh, classification type standard will have another uh, option that china clay but uh, will assign standard soil classification this, this is a clay soil because we have undrain question value no phi no phi condition so this is a clay soil clay soil uh, with lower medium plasticity or high plasticity uh, we will have the CL condition clay with lower medium plasticity we can choose this and this is stiff condition so ok plus assign and modify this name 
clay steep here for steep condition we can assume uh, in it with in situ in it with is thin angle of internal friction we have no uh, angle of internal friction question flow is 60 question ratio we can choose uh, this is uh, uh, a reasonable value for settlement we will also choose the same value constant E the modulus of elasticity is constant and from consolidation result we will have the uh, E D E F so we can choose this the maximum range is 8 so we can say uh, the average value say 7 and this is the saturated unit if the unit is 18 then definitely it will be higher so you can choose 19 and that's for insert condition the saturated level will is the maximum there ok assign in assign menu we will assign we have only one cell so we will assign this cell parameter foundation here centric we have centric foundation so we will choose this centric and in our country it's regular practice that the existing ground level and finished ground level is almost in same category in same level so depth of foundation here the depth of foundation is 8 feet so 8 feet so we can assume uh, that this is 2.5 meter depth of footing bottom also 2.5 meter foundation thickness say uh, 0.4 meter and um, unit weight of overburden is the average of concrete and soil so we can assume it's 20 load lc and the vertical force that uh, we will obtain this force from a theory model or a typical calculation so say we have uh, 750 kilonewton um, uh, gravitational force and uh, this is also a design force and this is also a service force or uh, 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 geometry from geometry menu is uh, the our floating dimension is 8 feet by 8 feet so we have 2.5 2.5 from here we can also edit this value so it's a centric and the column dimension is 0.4 meter by 0.4 meter footing bottom footing bottom is no improvement so the geologic profile is a footing bottom material for concrete material catalog we can use the SCI value 21 MPA and longitudinal reinforcement and in 60 grade and the transfer reinforcement is also 60 grade surface typically I will use no surface in this model ground at a level that will but we will not consider the ground at a level in this uh, model so here are our input now we will determine the bearing capacity here I we, I we, we will do not use the state settings so bearing capacity if you click the bearing capacity then we will get the bearing capacity uh, in this soil condition so here verification is fair for bearing capacity what will be our capacity Shape of contact state general shear failure. Most unsavored load cases, as it is in load case one, design bearing capacity of foundation is 452 kp. 452 kp. And extreme contact stress is that the our column load and the surface load. The extreme contact stress is 170 kp. So the factor of safety is 2.66, which is greater than 2.5. So you can assume that this bearing series is almost okay. 
settlement here we can sh uh, we can see that average modulus of deformation is 7 this was our input parameter and foundation is a long solution is rigid is, uh, because the k value is, uh, is uh, 12.69 and uh, in foundation and the reduction of uh, weight uh, is also the same so the same represent that it is a rigid uh, foundation settlement for this load and this thickness of the foundation are 6.2 millimeter and depth of influence is 3.25 meters. So here uh, this is our uh, our settlement and bearing capacity. From dimensioning here we can also shape and design our structure parameters. That this is a single column footing. So here, the longitudinal reference length. So this is a 2.5 meter. So a number of bars should be uh, more than four. So we can make a 20 bars. And the reference length clear cover is is, uh, is uh, it's more, more than 40 meters. So it's underground structure. So we can make 60. And easily defined bar size, say, uh, it is uh, 16 millimeter per tire. So here it's reasonable. And okay. So we can reduce, we can reduce the um, <coughs> number of bars. In y direction, there is the same dimension, it will be the same parameter. So it's the same. Way. So share reinforcement, uh, we, we do not need actually the share first one. This is the punching share is okay. We can reduce the uh, thickness uh, of this foundation in the next try. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please 